Hello guys, today we're talking about the biggest box office bombs of the year. Of course, there will be definitely, of course, you know, movies like Star Wars, The Wild, The Scout, and Godzilla, okay, The Monsters will not be uh, on the list because they didn't actually lose money. They're still considered box office disappointments, however, and could make a whole list on its own for box office disappointments, whereas of course there was a lot of those this year. But these are movies that actually lost a ton of money for the studios. And no, Arena Battle Angel did not bomb at the box office. These movies are actual movies that bombed or even lost up to $200 million at the box office. So the first movie here is Cats. So the first movie is the newest movie on the list, Cats. It came out on the same day as Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. And was put out as, you know, the, you know they always put out a count, counter film to Star Wars. 2013 was Jumanji and Fernadad, and 2015 was Sisters and some other movies I have forgotten about. Oh, and the Elven and Chipmunk movies. The Elven and Chipmunk, The World Ship. But Cats is the biggest failure of them all. Did anyone really want to see Cats? No! No one wanted to see this movie because it's creepy, it's disturbing, it's like a horror, you know. They call it, they say it's a drama, you know, musical movie. It's a horror movie, because the movie is so scary, okay? You know, those people who have been complaining about Rita's eyes all those, you know, last year, two years ago, well, now we have to deal with movies, now we have movies like Cats. I guess, you get, I guess Rita isn't, you know, that, you know, you know, I, I bet the same people who thought Rita's eyes were too big must have, you know, freaked out at the Cats trailer. And, Cats is just nightmares to say at least. All you have to do is look at screenshots, you know, have nightmares for life. <laughs> Having these creepy cat things dance around and sing to you. It sounds like something that would come out of your nightmares come true. And, speaking of, you know, nightmares movies, this movie lost at least 80, 75, 70 million dollars, no, 80 million dollars to over, even over 100 million, million dollars at the box office. But we're not done yet with 100 million dollar flops. The next movie on the list is Dark Phoenix. No one wanted to see Dark Phoenix. Yes, it's a Disney movie that flopped. Despite, you know, Disney had one of the biggest years at the box office. There's no question in that. But, Fox struggled this year because of Disney. Because they killed off a lot of the properties, either deraying them or putting them in January to die just like underwater. You know, drying up and sending a release. Dark Phoenix was one of those movies that you know everybody has forgotten about. Dark Phoenix, like you know, unlike cat, no, un no like cats, had to fa didn't really have to face much competition as it was the only major superhero movie. Cause Endgame was already over a month old, so people you know they were they're hoping that uh, the Dark Phoenix would hold them over until Spider Man Far From Home, but it wasn't really the case. Dark Phoenix. Ended up being a massive flop and going behind its competition, Secret Life of Pets 2. When the fact that you're being outsold by a brand sequel almost all proves the point that Dark Phoenix is a big massive box office bust and a big massive box office failure. No one wanted to see this movie, and I can understand why. Disney lost it out so they can kill so they can kill off the X-Men franchise to prove that the X-Men franchise need to be in the MCU. And let's just put in some sexist remarks about men in the movie as well, and you have a woke recipe for disaster. This movie lost, could have lost over $200 million at the box office, which is insane for a movie that really was supposed to be the endgame of the X-Men franchise. Number 3. Play Mobile the Movie. Play Mobile the Movie, despite not being a massive box office failure like Dark Phoenix, it's still known for being one of the biggest box office failures of all time. The movie only made $1.1 million at the box office, and the budget is $35 million at the box office. That is just a massive movie that is just no one wanted to see in the beginning with. It had, this movie lost over $100 million at the box office. Its budget alone was $75 million, and then, and it probably at the end of its, at the end, including all P&As and according, you know, the amount the studio got back, it probably lost at least $110 million at the most. This movie was quickly forgotten and scrubbed under the rug as, you know, Frozen 2 continued breaking records, as Play Motor Movie was intended to be a counter program to Frozen 2, 
how long were they? No one wanted to see a playable movie, and it's and it even looked like based off the trailers was a bootleg of the Lego movie. And those who didn't help that came out in Europe, so most believe people people in America were expecting this movie to be a pile of crap, and it bombed here no this indefinitely. Number four, Arctic Dogs. Does anyone even remember this movie? Arctic Dogs was another animated box office bust. No one wanted to see Arctic Dogs. Arctic Dogs was a big, big, big failure. No one went to go see it, and this movie has a $50 million budget. Not as big as, you know, Playboy the movie, but still worth between $70 and $80 million. Arctic Dogs is just another branded, branded generic animated movie that could have just went straight for Netflix or DVD or Blu-ray. That would have been a much more better fate for this movie instead of releasing it in theaters. Also, it didn't help that it was made by the same people who made Norm of the North, which obviously Norm of the North sucked. Number 6 Tony of Dark Fate. Oh, yes, there'll be some spoilers here. Tony of Dark Fate, besides Tony of Dark Fate being the biggest failure in the franchise for the Terminator franchise, Tony of Dark Fate was easily. The worst selling Tornado movie, it barely passed Dark Phoenix at the box office as well. And it had a and it was between 120 to 140 million dollars at the end of it. And this movie was very unnecessary. Did we really need another Terminator movie? You know, they, they sort of just ended Tornado is one of those movies that sort of never become a franchise. Or at least ended at the third movie, so we can at least have a trilogy as at the very most. But this movie, but this transform, that Terminator franchise continued going on and on and on. For some reason, continuing to avoid box office failure and box office failure as well, because it's China, but even this movie couldn't be saved by China. So, Tony Dark Tony hopefully can rest indefinitely. Number 7, Gemini Man. Will Smith made a movie this year called Aladdin, but did anyone remember his other movie, Gemini Man? Gemini Man was actually the wiggiest of, besides Cats, because it only opened up 6 million and we still in the holidays, Gemini Man bombed at the box office. Basically, Gemini Man is, another, is just a generic Will Smith action movie. And the movie that came out against was like Joker, it was put Zombie Land, and, and Murphs and Mistress of Evil, and the Addams Family as well. It also was the worst grossing of the three new releases of that week as well. Being one of the worst grossing movies of that weekend. The only movie it did better was was a and it was like an indie movie or something like that. Gemini Man actually ranked number three of the three big movies of the week, which was Joker, Adam's Family, and Gemini Man. The only other movie that beat that came out this week was Jexy. Which was a very terrible comedy that everybody that is extremely forgettable to begin with. Zelda Man could have lost anywhere from eighty million dollars at the very least to over a hundred million dollars. So this movie is a massive box office bust. Number eight, Ad Astra. Disney to Disney. It just seems that you continue destroying box properties. Ad Astra was a big box office failure. That really didn't need to be a box office failure. Ad Astra, first of all, came out on a very crowded weekend with movies like Downtown Abbey and Rambo 5 Last Blood. And it, and it lost in the pack of the new movies. It was the world seen out of the new releases being beaten by Rambo at barely, uh, barely be, being beaten out by Rambo Last Blood. It also didn't help that the rigs for this movie wasn't that great. And the fact that Joker came out as well destroying this movie's ever chances at a box office success. It barely beat Rambo Ass Blood at the box office, and released in a very crowded weekend as well, making Ad Astra one of the most forgettable movies of the year, and it also didn't help that Brad Pitt talked about how the movie was about toxic masculinity. Really, it's about space. The movie should not be, should be about space, okay? Space, okay? So, Ad Astro is just another forgettable model, you know, try to revive you know, the success of gravity and the success of Interstellar. But not remembering what made those movies great. 
and asked for at least lost 70 to 60 to 80 million dollars at the box office. Number 9, Midway. This is another movie that flopped through the through the a crowded massive weekend. Midway released with four other three other releases, and this movie lost a similar amount of money to Ad Astra. It lost eighty to one hundred million dollars, and actually this movie wasn't that as bad as the critic made it out to be. And actually, compared to the other movies on the list, it actually had pretty decent wigs at the box office. But sadly, because war movies are no longer as popular as they used to be, Midway didn't really do too well at the box office. Doing only at uh, doing only average for a movie, but still overperformed at the domestic box office because it was projected to be the third highest grossing release behind Doctor Sleep, which also flopped. Last Christmas was it okay, and of course, Praying with Fire, which of course didn't do too well at, did actually play decently at the box office. So, we're now in a world where Midway bombed at the box office, and it also didn't help that people, if people wanted to see the other war movie coming out next year, 1917, or coming out at the end of the year, 1917, instead. So, 1917 essentially killed it. Now, number 9 is Missing Wink. Another movie that really no one cares about, Missing Link is one of the most forgettable movies of the year. Despite being best animated movie, did anyone really remember Missing Link? Nope. I doubt that. I, I, I knew it. Animated movies have done absolutely terrible this year. Missing Link is another example of this animation curse that has plagued 2020, 2019's box office. Missing Link came out in another very crowded weekend, and it was probably one of the more forgettable movies that came out during that time. The movie did did have decent box office rigs, but its rigs were cut short by Endgame. So, Missing Link will be considered Riker's worst selling movie, probably for a while, until they make up another movie that sounds even dumber than talking, you know, apes being making friends of humans. It's not like they already ripped out Planet of the Apes. So, Missing Link is a missing failure. And it could have lost over a hundred million dollars at the box office. Considering how poor the box it lost over a hundred million dollars at the box office, it is kind of one of the more underrated box office flops. The last movie on this list is Wonder Park. Another animated movie on this list. Wonder Park came out around the same time as Captain Marvel. And it was the and it was and it was already being beaten by How to Train Dragon as well. And also in how the movie was crap as well. No one wants to see a crappy movie at the theater. Yes, people do go watch crappy movies once in a while, and, crap, and sometimes they even make a billion dollars. And Bayformers and Captain Marvel, which was aforementioned as well. But the thing we wanted, and of course there are two other movies that came out this week that on the same week as well. Five feet apart, which didn't have a massive budget, and Captive State, which bombed as well. And also was competing with Captain Marvel, and also How to Trade Dragon the Hidden World, but it was still making a lot of money at the box office. So, that's basically it. So, what movies were big box office failures? Do you think that any of these movies were deserving of a box office failure? What is your favorite box office failure of 2019? Because not all movies to lose money at the box office are bad movies. I used to think that a long time ago until I seen some of the actual classic movies that actually bombed at the box office. Like Blade Runner, which bombed at the box office but eventually paid back its money through Blu-rays and eventually got a sequel, which also bombed sadly as well. So, that's basically it. Goodbye.